Welcome in another part of this leveling series. At level 68, we will move to Amazonian Maze Brazil. You want to start at Rio Grande Hotel as we will need a boat. There are three ways we can farm experience on this map. By catching sharks and catfish, electric eel, or arapaima. Before we get to our main fishing area, just want to show you few shark markers here. You can catch a lot of sharks just by using match rod with float and blood as bait. This might not be the fastest way of gain experience, but it's definitely fun and worth a try. All you have to do is to cast your float around the markers you see on the screen during peak time hours. You don't have to use any specific match rod here, as it's really easy to catch them while on the boat. However, keep in mind that the match rod that we will use on this map will catch every species of fish that we will target for XP, so it's always good idea to keep upgrading your setup. If you want to know if you need to upgrade your fish net, then wait till level 70, as fish here can easily reach over 400 pounds which is around 200 kilograms. While catching sharks with float is easy, the chances of you catching trophy shark are pretty slim. So instead I would recommend fishing with spinning or casting rod, and for this, we have to travel all the way to the end of map. All the markers you've seen so far are for match rod fishing only. These markers here will be for spinning. So this is the place. I would recommend you stay here most times when you fish on Amazon, this place might be tricky, but it's definitely the fastest way of getting experience on this map. Also make sure you can see your parking marker in front of you at all times, as the water flow is pretty strong here and you can easily drift off. We will use casting rod with 3 ounces jig head and 6 inch glowing shadows law. You want to use stop and go just over the bottom. We don't need titanium leader, just make sure your reel break stays on green. This will prevent trophy sharks from biting off your line. With this setup our reel is set to minus 3, however, when we upgrade our setup at level 70, we can reduce this to minus 2. We will not only find here trophy sharks, but also uni and trophy catfish. There will be nights when you fill up your net in less than 10 minutes. After landing your fish you want to return to your parking marker and repeat, making sure when you retrieving your lure, it stays near the bottom. You want to fish here only between 9 and 10 pm. If you are not getting any bites, simply forward to next night. One trophy shark will easily pay all your bills, so make sure to skip time often, and don't fish here long if you are not getting any bites. There's another fishing spot here around the corner, I'm not sure yet if you can catch trophy here as well, but it seems like a nice active spot. So it's definitely worth giving a go, especially that it's just on the other side of the island. The only difference here is that is a lot deeper and you should start to retrieve your lure a lot sooner. These are the markers. Now once we covered the sharks and cats, we can move to Arapaima and Electric Eel. There are three good locations where you can catch Uni Arapaima, first is just here behind the bend. You can use spinning as well as match rod. To catch Uni Arapaima, I'm using two and a half ounce Red Duo Swimbait with 8-0 hook, but I'm sure there are different type of lures that work just as well, so if you know any good ones, make sure to leave a comment. All you have to do here is to replace your Glow Shad with Duo swim bait and cast right in front of you. When you retrieve you can use Stop and Go or Twitching, both work just as good. You can fish here during day and night peak hours. You can find here uni as well as young and normal arapaima. As well as spinning you can also use your match rod here with hook range 8-0 to 14-0. I'm using 10-0 hooks, as there is a lot of piranhas in here as well, so larger hooks seem to work bit better. Even with 14-0 hooks, you will still catch young arapaima. So if you want to use match rod all you have to do is to cast right in the middle, setting the depth to 35 inches with hook of your choice and shiners. There are more locations where you can farm arapaima, however, before we go there, just next to us is very good place with electric eel. You can catch it using same match rod, all you have to do is to reduce the hook size down to 4-0. Using the same bait and the same depth. We can get well over 10,000 experience for one uni eel, so it's definitely worth checking out. Just like before, if you want to use float, cast just right in front of you as you can see on the screen. Just make sure to reduce the hook size. These markers here are for spinning, 
and because Uni Eel is only around 50 pounds, I'm using this lighter setup just for eel. You want to use stop and go, without hitting the bottom. You can fish here in day as well as night peak times, often skipping to next night, after catching one uni and one trophy eel. All you need is small jig head with rattlesnake worm or buzzbait with crow fish attached to it. Now before I let you go fishing, let me show you best two spots to catch and farm arapaima. Just so we don't get lost, let's look at the map and make sure we know where we are. We started at the hotel and we made our way through all the shark spots you can catch with float. Then we arrived at our main location to farm shark and catfish with spinning. We then moved to try arapaima and currently we are here catching eel. To get to our next spot, we need to travel further along the canal. Once you get here, you will notice rocky shoreline. You can place your rod stand there and use your bottom rods that you got from last episode and catch arapaima from the shore with the exact same setup you used for catching catfish, only this time using shiners as bait. If you want to use spinning, simply park by the tree and cast straight ahead of you. And like before twitching or stop and go works great. Moving from here to last and probably the best spot where you can catch arapaima, we need to move little bit further down the river. If you want to use match rod with float, cast just in front of you, as you can see on the screen. Keeping your float depth, same as before, at 35 inch. You will mostly fish here at night, and remember to skip nights often as bites may suddenly stop. While arapaima gives really good experience, it's kinda tricky to catch unis on regular basis. And if you want to catch more arapaima you should definitely look up some advice on forum or through your friends who also play Fishing Planet. Very often you will find people fishing here, if you see someone having a lot of success, just ask them for advice. There is big chance that they will be willing to share their secrets with you, and you can improve your fishing by a lot, simply by asking around. If you want to use spinning rod, just move your boat to the right, and cast your lure straight ahead at the markers. And again twitching, or stop and go methods work great. In my opinion spinning for trophy sharks and uni catfish with shad, is a lot more effective way of getting experience on Amazon than catching electric eels or arapaima, but at least on this fishery we have choice, and we can find something for everyone's likening. Just before we finish, let me show you one more location where you can catch uni electric eel, is just around the corner. It's also a good idea to try to catch one uni eel and move and try to catch one uni arapaima, as these spots are very close to each other and we can move between them in no time. Have fun fishing here, and I see you on Congo River at level 75.